Hey guys, Lego Freak here. Now I was in, um, I meant to record this yesterday. I was going to, but um, uh, basically what I'm doing today, by the way, is uh, doing a set review on this thing. Uh, yes, it's been opened because uh, well, I'll, I'll explain. Basically, I was gonna do this yesterday, uh, but uh, I didn't get the set till pretty late, and by the time I was done building it, it was about midnight. So I was like, yeah, I'll do the video tomorrow. So I've already built it and everything, so there's nothing in the box. But, uh, yeah, last time I did a set review, you guys seemed to really enjoy it. Uh, so I was like, hey, yeah, I'll do another one for this. So, yeah, and um, now we're going to be doing shout-outs. Uh, now, if you've seen my last couple videos, um, then you'll know that my shout-out method has changed. So I apologize if you've heard it before, but if you haven't, here's basically what's going on now with the shout-outs. Basically, um, the first five people to ask for a shout-out on my newest video will get a shout-out. The rest of the people that ask on that video won't. And the reason is is because it just gets backed up that way and it's really easy to keep track of it this way. So again, the first five people to comment uh, that they want a shout out will get a shout out. But also, I won't give you a shout out if you've already received one in the past. So yeah, so I, I'm trying to shout out new people. So if you've already had one, then you won't get one again. So yeah, anyways, and again, only five per video. So let's do this. First shout out of today goes to the Lego Plunger 2000. So yeah. Next one goes to Bagel. Simple enough. Next one goes to Minecraft Gameplay 1000. Now I'm not sure if I've shouted him out before, but I wasn't sure, so here you go. Next one goes to Manuel Francia? Francia? I think. So yeah. And the last one for today goes to Uncharted Gaming. So yeah. Anyways, that was a four shout out today. So let's jump into the uh, set review. All right, and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna review the vehicle, the vehicles in the set, uh, going from my least favorite to my favorite. So, and I'm pretty sure all of you know which one's my favorite. Just saying. So anyways, starting with the tractor, uh, this is actually a pretty cool build, I'm not going to lie. Um, and it'd be pretty easy to like recreate in other colors if you were like making like a like a farm or a city with that like a shop that sells tractors. It's pretty cool actually and uh, I kind of like it. I don't know if I'm going to be destroying it. I'll probably actually put it in uh, Lego City that I'm building. It even does have like a little, um, like a, what you call it? back here for like a trailer or something that you could put behind it so overall it's pretty awesome they do have uh i don't know if this is like a really new piece but well they have uh let me get it off this and i have never seen this before um focus camera so yeah i'm not sure uh let me know when they introduced these pieces but yeah they're pretty freaking awesome i can think of several uses for them so yeah, uh, I really like that piece, and I think that that's going to be a very useful thing. So, yeah, but overall, it's, it's still a pretty cool build, you know. Uh, several stickers on it, one there, one there, one there. So, but yeah, overall, I mean, it still is pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, I probably will end up putting this in Lego City that I'm building. So, yeah. And moving on to my second favorite, which is uh, this thing here, the uh, Scarecrow, whatchamacallit. Gosh, I forgot the name. But anyways, um, this is actually a really cool build as well. Um, I really like the, the front piece that uh, moves when you turn it. So, yeah. Um, and uh, I think that overall it really fits Scarecrow. Like, if he, you know, it, like, if... I think just it's a good vehicle for him in general. And it has a bunch of cool, like, um, play features as well. Like, obviously, the turning front. And also, the big old tank on the back which moves up like this um, now it does open and inside is a bunch of these little um fear bombs that you put in the stud shooter here so go on fire it Woo. so uh yeah that's pretty cool um yeah this does stand up um which is for a uh a feature you can actually put one of the characters in this thing you know if it doesn't do that but yeah, I think that overall it still looks really cool with the uh, with the the green tanks coming off of the side here with uh, the big old thing in the middle. It's also got over here a tube um, for the fear, so for the fear gas stuff. So um, yeah, it's also got this really cool big old green uh, 
translucent green gear on the front which makes everything kind of spin so yeah um now on this side it has a clip some clips to hold uh scarecrow's um uh pitchfork and uh and over here it's got the fear bomb shooter and another one of these little headlight pieces but in gold so that's pretty awesome but uh yeah i think overall that it's still a pretty cool vehicle i don't know if i'm gonna like actually keep it like this but um i probably will just because i think that it's a really nice thing uh overall but there's probably a lot of uses for the uh, the flexible bar pieces on the front here so I'm trying to think of some cool things to do with those anyways let's go ahead and move on to the final and of course you probably all knew it was my favorite the bat helicopter this thing is awesome and it's pretty darn big too um i actually really like the way that it looks um the only thing i'm not really sure about is the blue pieces um i kind of want to see what they'd look like if you replaced all the blue pieces with black pieces just because I think that looked cooler, but still overall it's a really, really nice build and has a really cool play feature, which I'll show in a second. But obviously it has the spinning propeller, which is a kind of a duh uh, thing. So yeah, um, I haven't actually tried to put Batman in here, but I assume he fits pretty well. <laughs> so yeah, um, I really like the the sticker right here. I think that that's a cool, that just the symbol looks pretty cool right there. And it's also got two stickers here, one there and one here. Um, but it doesn't actually have any more stickers, so, um, there's not too many stickers. Well, the Scarecrow vehicle has a lot, which I forgot to cover. But yeah, it's also got this propeller back here, which of course moves. Now, the play feature is probably my favorite part. Uh, so you see these guns on the sides. What happens is if you push the tail in, you can see that the sides pop open, and there are a bunch of stud shooters right there. So that's pretty freaking cool. So it basically what you can do is you just push the tail forward, and boom out pop the stud shooters which i think is just amazing i really really like that play feature and also the tail uh it, there's a little clip in there so that the tail stays there so like it's not as easy to pull back i mean you still can like pull it back but it takes quite a bit of force so i mean even if you're not like you know full-on playing with it you know like actually you know playing with the set it's still pretty cool for displays just to have all those guns sticking off the side there so um yeah i'm not how easy is it to like get those to shoot oh wow all you gotta do is just push this that way a little bit and i just lost those studs sweet so <laughs> yeah overall that's pretty awesome and it was fun to build like all this stuff was really generally just fun to build i actually had a good time um good time building it and again it looks really cool overall i may actually switch the blue pieces out though for black pieces just to kind of see like what that looks like but um yeah, and also the gray. I'm not sure why they put all the gray pieces on there. Um, I just kind of wish that they made it all black, but that's really the only criticism I have. It's still a really, really awesome build overall. So let's get to the uh, highlight of this thing, though, the review, and that is the figures. All right, guys, so we're going to start with, of course, my least favorite and move up to my favorite. So if you've seen any sort of, you know, if you've seen the set at all, you probably know that this would be my least favorite just because, I mean, it's still a pretty cool, uh, pretty pretty good figure overall, but uh, compared to the others, it's just not that good at all. So <laughs> anyways, um, uh, basically, I think that the, the undershirt uh, torso, like the print is pretty good, actually, like for a for like a mechanic or something like that you know like in a lego city i think that the it's still like an overall good like uh, torso and legs to use for just a standard citizen uh the face is you know obviously not that useful just because you have to put it on someone who's afraid but i guess you could like erase the mouth and like paint your own on there but anyways um i haven't seen this hat piece before i'm sure that it's been in other sets but i just haven't like had this particular hat piece before so i think that's pretty cool um and yeah i'll probably be taking this guy apart to use the tan arms because i don't have a lot of those so it's really nice to get some of those um but yeah i'm still not uh altogether sure um you know how useful this figure is it, i guess it really depends on what you're trying to build with it but uh yeah so let's go ahead and move on to my second favorite all right, and my second favorite in the set is Scarecrow. And actually, I really, I mean, it's still a pretty cool figure, but again, compared to the other two, it's not as cool. So, um, yeah, I do like the hat slash hair piece that they used. Yeah, yeah, this is all like one piece um, molded together. So I think that's a pretty cool Scarecrow piece. I like the way that the hat has like 
bits missing from the rim. Uh, I think that's just a cool touch. And uh, the print isn't bad. Either. Let me go ahead and move his uh, pitchfork there. So, um, yeah, the print isn't bad, though. I actually really like the face. I think that the face is probably the coolest part uh, to me just because it, it has all the stitching and just the the red eyes and like all the patches and stuff I think it's pretty cool um the torso's not that bad as well I mean it really does like you know look like uh scarecrow now what I might do is take uh some black paint and make some maybe stitching on the side like of the arms maybe put some like rope stuff around his wrists um and then maybe paint on some sort of like maybe shoe type thing I don't know but yeah there's printing on the back as well just the continuation of the the uh rope belt thing and of course the wrinkles in fact there's not like any stitching on the actual outfit i didn't notice that before huh um well there's like the knee pads that are like patches sewn on there so um yeah and i don't recall seeing many hands in this color like from other lego sets um i know that there is some but i don't think that there's a lot of hands in this color so i think it's pretty cool um so yeah that was my second favorite so let's go ahead and move on to my third favorite and my third favorite is Killer Moth. This figure is freaking incredible. I like it a lot. Um, not as much as the last two, but I still do like this figure a ton. So you can see his weapon here, which is just a ray gun. I call it a ray gun with that new, not new, but that piece that I haven't seen before with just a little disc on the front. I'll go ahead and remove that. So pretty simple uh, weapon. Uh, now, I really like the outfit. Uh, it's really, really cool to me, just the way that it looks. So the legs are awesome, like orange with the green stripes going around. I think that that's a cool uh, touch. And, uh, of course, they are orange legs. It's just green printing. So, yeah, uh, with an orange belt piece. Now, I have not seen a lot of figures with orange hands. Well, I'm just going to point that out. I have not seen a lot of figures with orange hands. You guys can let me know in the... Gosh, I keep doing that. You guys can let me know in the comments... Um, uh, what figures you've seen with orange hands, but again, I have not seen a lot at all, so it's pretty cool to get those. Um, now, of course, one of the main things about this guy is the helmet. I really, really like the helmet. I think it's just a really cool thing. Honestly, if I could get my hands on more, what I might do is like cut off the little antennas on the side and these antennas, and it would look really awesome. Just think about it without these antennas or the things on the side. Like, think about how cool that would look. Oh, but I'm not going to do it to this one because I like this figure and I want to keep, you know, at least one, like, figure like this. So, yeah, I think that the torso is pretty cool, too, with the muscle details, the belt, and the little, um, the firefly symbol. And, of course, the translucent orange wings are pretty awesome as well. I might, like, paint some lines on that. I don't know. There also is, um, well, actually, let me show you the head first, then I'll show you the back printing. The head's pretty cool, actually. So they have this green head with that weird kind of skin tone but they have this the goggles on the front which is pretty awesome but what i really like is that let me just turn the figure around give me a second uh it's gonna turn this around it has a secondary face where he's like scared but what's really cool is if you put the helmet on the other face you can see his eyes through there so if you don't want to have the red goggles and you just want to have it so you can see his eyes there you go and it doesn't actually look like he's scared in there so i think that's a really cool thing that the eyes fit in the helmet um if you you know if you don't like the goggles look so let me go ahead and remove his head there and there's the back print the continuation of the belt with the shoulder blades the back just kind of the back muscles so yeah overall i actually really like this figure um i think that's really cool and um yeah i definitely want to get my hands on more of the helmet though because i just think that you have this a really cool potential there so anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next figure all right and the next figure is batman now uh probably some of you don't like batman as much as you like killer moth but for me it's really cool to get like a new batman suit um i think that it's really awesome looking with the green details um i just think it's really unique overall and i really like it now of course i don't like the capes because i liked lego's old capes um, because they were just better, but um, anyway, I can understand why they have these capes, though, you know. But anyways, um, not much detail on the legs. I kind of wish that there was some detail on the legs. That'd be really cool, but there isn't, which was a little upsetting, but still not, not that big a deal. The torso is really awesome. I love the, like, the muscle details. Those are in a dark green, and then you can see the cool uh, gunmetal and light gray belt piece with the 
uh, gunmetal armor and just the cool green bat symbol. Um, and the head, let me go ahead and remove that. Whoa, come on. So you have the face, which looks like this, which is actually pretty darn awesome. What you could do, I was thinking about maybe like making a kryptonite suit Batman or something for like fighting Superman. I think that'd be really cool. You know, like the green is kryptonite. Anyways, um, so you have this face on one side, but you also have this head on the other side. So if you want to have a normal Batman with green eyes, um, that's pretty awesome as well. Except for, of course, the weird skin tone thing. But yeah, I like this side better. And also does come with one of these little breather masks, which are really cool and pretty useful, I'll say. Um, so I'll go ahead and remove that. There is some back printing as well. More of the gunmetal with the light gray and the green kind of armor and of course the continuation of the belt so yeah overall i'm just gonna leave the cape off overall i think uh that this figure is pretty darn awesome overall i just like having a a new batman uh to go with my collection and i'm struggling to put the face on <laughs> so yeah um but you guys can let me know what you think of the figure uh in the comments but anyways let's move on to the final and best figure blue beetle and here he is, Blue Beetle, and oh my gosh, this is definitely my favorite part of the set by far. I mean, oh, just, oh. I will be customizing this a bit, but I won't be changing that much. I'll probably paint the back of the, the backpack. I probably will make this um, the same blue color as the rest of him, and not like the translucent color. But the wings are awesome. Look at that, like the little pattern in there. Oh, it's just so cool. Anyways, um, you can see that his like accessory, I guess, is this piece which i know is in the new lego series it's basically uh, a little handle to a stud piece so yeah and then of course this blue disc but i'll go ahead and remove that um so first thing i want to point out is the double molded legs whoop, whoop. i love those i think that they're just awesome and they work really well on this figure so kudos to lego for doing that because i just i love the double molded legs they're incredible um i would have liked to see a little bit of detail on the arms but that's really the only criticism I can make about this figure just because I love the way that it looks overall with the cool blue armor with the silver lines and the blue details and there's back printing which I'll show in a second the face is really cool too I like the the way that it looks all together now there is this cool piece this blue piece that you can see now I'll go ahead and take the head off it's a little hard to do with this figure but yeah um so you can see the piece here it just goes on the head and then it goes uh over the shoulders there and then you have the two little spikes in the back and i think it's just a really nice piece and there's also some printing uh right there camera focus focus or not uh so yeah but anyways um and then of course the wing piece uh right there and of course the like scarab shape on the back so I really like the wings. I think that that adds a lot to the figure. And here is the back printing. So you can see there is the blue scarab, the source of his power. Uh, and of course, more silver lines and some more just blue armor up there with more blue. Like, I think that's legs. Yeah, that's the legs wrapping around the torso. So yeah, I'll go ahead and assemble it again. Um, I'll probably take the sand down the top part of the wings just to make sure that the figure's not quite as like tall. But I still think that this is the best figure in the set. You guys can let me know what you think, but ah, I just love this. Now, as far as customizing goes, I don't think that's on there all the way. <laughs> but anyways, as far as customizing goes, I think all I'm I might what I might do is sculpt on some. So there's a hair there. Go away. Uh, what I might do is sculpt on some shoulder pads. Maybe paint some blue like wristbands on there. I'll probably add some black details to the belt and maybe some silver details to the legs as well. Um, I might add some black lines on the head somewhere but oh and of course paint the the scarab thing back here um but aside from that i really don't think that i'm going to be doing too much to the figure just because i really really like it um so i'm going to put the disc back on and i'll give him one more 360 just because i want to look at him some more no i'm kidding but uh yeah he is really really cool and again in my opinion the best figure in the set and probably Probably the reason I wanted it most was just for this figure. But, you know, I still do really enjoy the other figures as well. Um, and, of course, the builds are really awesome. And I had a good time with the set overall, so I would highly recommend getting it. Now, is it worth the $60 that you pay for it? I would say absolutely. Um, I I think it's a perfect, you know, 
I think it's definitely worth the amount that you pay for it, um, especially because of the figures. But uh, yeah, so anyways, um, I would definitely recommend this set. So anyways, let's go ahead and wrap up the video. Alright guys, that wraps up this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a like as well as subscribe. I'm almost to 1,500. Real close. Real close. So um, yeah, again, I apologize for not uploading for a bit. It's just that I don't have that much to show you guys. And when I got the set, I was like, perfect! I'll, I'll, do, a, I'll do a review. So I'm really trying to finish up the figures so I can give you guys more stuff and more content very soon but basically what, I, what basically what's happening is I've hit like this little wall so to speak where like I'm not done with any new figures and I've really showed you all my old figures so I don't know what to show you guys so yeah hopefully I'll be doing another episode of the Lego set talk show very soon hopefully but anyways um yeah but you guys come know what you think of this set and I'll probably try and do a review on the uh, the Killer Croc one when I get it and all those other stuff and if there's any sets you guys want me to do a review on let me know that in the comments as well because anyways last time I did this you guys seemed to really enjoy it but uh yeah I think that I've rambled on long enough so anyways this has been Lego Freak peace Woo. <laughs>